good morning students today lecture topic diode frequency response diode capacitance low and high frequency response of diode so we'll start with the basic first see when you take the structure of pn junction diode one side of diode like a uh, is doped with the acceptor that is p type another side is doped with the n type material the so, soap pn junction diode is formed right this is a basic idea you know when you apply the voltage in the pn diode there will be variation of charge right variation of charge due to the applied voltage right this concept will yield the concepts of capacitance which will add the capacitance effect in the diode so you know what you mean by capacitance what do you mean by capacitance that is the change of charge with respect to the applied voltage the change of charge with respect to the applied voltage right same scenario occurring in p and d also okay due to the presence of depletion region when p type and n type is layer is forming due to the creation of depletion region same capacitor structure has been created in your p and i also okay see that they are related as a diode capacitance the capacitance you know that store the electric charge in the form of electric field this charge storage is done by using two electrically conducting plates that are placed close to each other it was separated by a insulating material which you know called uh, which is called as dielectric right the same scenario in our pn diode also when you apply the charge same diode with the depletion layer the depletion layer is acting as a dielectric part so that gives the equation capacitance equal to c equal to epsilon that is with respect to silicon semiconductor region a is the area of the cross section and divided by width of your depletion region this is the same scenario occurring in your diode also it is classified into two types one is a diffusion capacitance another is a transition capacitance that is cd and ct the other name for uh, transition capacitance also we can say as junction capacitance so we'll start with the transition capacitance or junction capacitance see when you speak about uh, transition capacitance it's occur predominantly in the only the reverse bias and there will be a partially occurrence capacitance effect even in the uh, forward bias also that we used to say when vd is less than 0 it is occurring in the reverse bias when vd is greater than 0 it is occurring in the forward bias right so what that that is a concept you know it was given clearly in the slides so here when you apply the reverse bias the width of the depletion is large please understand when width of the depletion is large the capacitance value will be very very less okay the amount of capacitance change with respect to the applied voltage that means the change of charge has been occurring so it was written with the equation of ct equal to epsilon silicon a divided by w with the depletion is a basic equation okay we have another equation that is cg cj that is junction capacitance equal to cj0 that is zero bias capacitance divided by 1 minus pd diode voltage divided by curtain voltage m m is the value change from 1 by 2 to 1 by 3 so when this is formula will applicable when vd is great less than 0 cg equal to 2 cj0 that is it is applicable when when vd is greater than 0 clear same idea and given in the different slide so when you apply the voltage the charge is being varying due to the change in charge the capacitance effect has been occurring in your diode this is the respect to the 
junction capacitance. When you speak about a diffusion capacitance, you can see the width of the depletion will be very very small. The change of charge with respect to the uptime voltage, but the width of the depletion is very 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 narrow. So it was inversely proportional. When width is low, the capacitance value will be very very large. Cd will be larger than the Ct. So that is uh, you need to understand. Diffusion capacitance will be larger than the transition capacitance because of the width of the depletion region. So that you can write with the help of tau t, tau t id divided by vt. So tau t is nothing but a minority carry lifetime into id diode current divided by thermal voltage. The thermal voltage can be 26 millivolt. Okay, so this is a basic equation that used to determine the value of diffusion capacitance. So now we will see how this capacitance will be responded for your frequency. How you have to draw the equal circuit. Right. In, in previous analysis, we have not included the capacitance. The reason you know because we have considered implicitly the is very less frequency. But here you are taking a frequency of AC signal is high. So we are have to incorporate the diffusion capacitance in the uh, not only diffusion also the junction capacitance but the value of junction is very low right. So we can uh, when uh, when you simplify your equivalent circuit you will be considering only the CD value. Okay that is a that is important you need to understand. See this will give a clear picture for you. See, uh, see when you are giving the when you superimposing your AC in the DC set of values and current that is consider you are applying the positive half cycle that is super sinusoidal is superimposed on the DC point. So I am just considering when holes are migrated holes are moving to the in side similar scenario for electrons are moving to the whole side okay vice versa okay the whole concentration will increase to the shown by the dotted line by vd by del v see that you can see very clearly the concentration of holes in the inside it was changed it was increased by the variation of del v similar situation can be right when you use for the negative of cycle so that you have a minus here okay it should not be plus it should be plus okay there you can see uh, it shows the dotted line how it was decreased when you apply the negative portion of the signal right you can see so the diffusion capacitance can be written with the that is simplified equation is dq by dvd so here final uh, inference is a uh, diffusion capacitance is larger than the junction capacitance now we will go to the small signal how we can add your capacitance in your uh, per diode right see there is a two circuit like you can see here one is a simplified another is a complete in complete circuit the rd is a small signal internal resistance which will will add when you write the AC analysis of the diode. So for each diode you will be represented by RD when you draw the small signal analysis. Okay you have to keep in mind. Similarly you have a diffusion capacitance you have a junction capacitance but in the simplified version they have removed the junction capacitance because the value is very low they have removed CJ and they have kept only the CD you can see here. See this is only for forward bias, you know already in forward bias CD and CJ both will exist right and CD we are considering and CJ we are removing right. So first we will see the what is the small signal model in the frequency response okay see I will just give a simple circuit make you to understand. That is small, that is a total change signal equal to DC plus AC. DC is your VDC and AC is your VAC sine omega t. That is your signal which you are applying. 
okay so so please understand when you writing a small signal analysis you will have a small signal internal resistance you have to represent okay the diode to be represent with the small signal resistance right the diode to be represent by the small signal resistance okay diode to be represent by a small signal resistance see when you put for dc analysis see it was or you have a same then this diode alone it was represented by the cutting voltage so that your dc equation question point can be determined by id id equal to vdc minus 0.7 divided by r similarly for uh, ac analysis like a small signal analysis you can re represent your diode in terms of rd so here very important rd how you will find a small signal internal resistance we have discussed in the last uh, vd so how you will find rd equal to n that is a material parameter vt divided by id so you need to see in the problem numerical problem whether your material parameter is 1 or 2 or 3 so that you should be multiplied with your vt divided by id it gives the small central internal resistance so when you put the circuit for total that is instantaneous where the ac and dc combine so you will be having this both right this is for uh, dc and this is for ac okay so i think you uh, you get the basic idea how to differentiate the dc analysis and ac analysis in the diode with respect to the frequency response right so here you can see uh, here it is giving the same again i so repeating the same concept here so already we have discussed in the previous slides right so like uh, you have a resistance r r d is a small cellular resistance capacitance is a uh, diffusion capacitance it was shown here okay so here you can see the resistance and capacitance are in the parallel so that can be written r dash here the way written is you have a two resistance r dash is nothing but a r plus capital capital r plus small rd so that is represent or for understanding it was written as r dash so r dash parallel to 1 by j omega c so when you write uh, like a basic equation so you will be having a r dash divided by 1 plus j omega r dash c okay so i was just replacing your mega naught equal to 1 by r dash c so when you rearrange this equation you will be getting r dash divided by 1 plus j omega by omega dot so this is your magnitude response this is a phase response of your your diode model okay with respect to the small signal analysis and with respect to the frequency response so this by using board border plot we can plot for magnitude as well as for phase response right i hope uh, this was useful okay if you have any doubt you can post in the comment section so in next video i will be uh, we will be solving the numerical problems okay thank you